In this video, we'll take a look at the net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus water, NaOH plus H2O. So when we do this here, we're going to start with solid sodium hydroxide. It comes in kind of pellets that you can drop in the water, and the water will be a liquid. So the question is, when we put the sodium hydroxide solid in water, will it dissolve? We have a brief set of solubility rules here, and the first rule, group 1 elements, sodiums in group 1, are soluble. You could have also memorized this list of strong acids and bases, which would be quite helpful. So looking at the list here, sodium hydroxide right here, that's a strong base. So all of these strong bases and strong acids, they'll dissolve in water. They'll dissociate completely when you put them in water. So we're confident that this sodium hydroxide is going to dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. That means sodium's in group one, it has a one plus charge, we'll get Na plus, we'll write Aq, because it's dissolved in water, and then the hydroxide here, that's always one minus. So we'll have OH minus, that'll be aqueous as well. So this is our net ionic equation for NaOH plus H2O. You'll see that we have water here and it doesn't show up on this side. It actually does because this aqueous means dissolved in water. So we do have water on both sides. Sometimes you'll see the H2O here put above the arrow to show that it's involved in this dissolution, this dissolving here, but it's not chemically changed. Either way, this is the net ionic equation for NaOH plus H2O, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.